Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how to make some chains inside of Blender. So let's get started. Let's make a cube to start with. And we're going to add a loop cut. And we go, well, I have to put it into edit mode by tab. Um, let's go that out along the Y. Select the whole thing. Let's go in along the X. Like so. And we're going to delete these faces here. And now what we're going to do is to add a solidify. Um, 20 centimeters should be good. Uh, well, for me anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm good with that. So we had to come out of edit mode, go into object mode, and we can apply that. And now if we add a subsurf we can go in here and do subsurf or we can just hit control one and it gives us a subsurf of one and we apply that as well and we're going to dissolve oh need to go in ed edge mode we're going to dissolve these edges here as we want to keep it low poly enough to able run in the game all right now we're going to add um some seams from so there, there, here, and opposite of there. So we're going to mark seams. We're going to drag the screen over so we can get another screen up here. And UV layout. So we select all this, hit U and unwrap. We can hit Control A and P in here and it um, cycle through different um, UV layouts. Sometimes it gets stuck. I don't know why that is, but. Um, and sometimes doing that actually allows you to actually fill up the UV space in a better way. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that unwrap. And if you're making it for a game and you're going to bake lighting and all this stuff inside the um, engine, you would have to have a second um, UV layer for the lights. So we just do that right now, like so. And we have both our UVs for free. Nifty. So we really only needed to unwrap one train, and it would actually. If we unwrap one train, it means the texture size. Pretty much, the, the texture is going to be duplicated on all the others, but the the light pass and stuff like that shouldn't be. I don't, I'm not quite sure how that works out, but it works out like that. So what we're going to do is um, shift D and duplicate this. And we're going to want to rotate this along 90, along the Y. And I'm pretty happy with this. Hang on. Uh, okay, I didn't need to do that. My UVs aren't flipped. Okay, I thought they were. Okay. So now what we want to do is to add a ray. And we don't want it coming along the X. Over here you can see X, Y, and C. And we want it coming along the Y though. And that going to be out a bit. And if you scale this up and down, you know, it kind of jolts all over the place. So if you hold down shift, you can fine tune it. And I'm just going to be rough with it. I'm not that worried. Uh, this is more a demonstration. Um, and we're going to select the whole thing and scale this all, all the way down. And we're going to duplicate that out, like so, move that into the center, move it back to the origin, that's kind of orange, little dot there is the origin, and we, it, it, that, that's nice and dandy, you know, if you want a straight um, train, but we don't, and another thing you might want to do as well is if we do smooth shading, um, it kind of helps it out a little bit more. Uh, could actually go around and mark these as um, we're sharp. Um, could mark them as sharp. But, uh, I don't want to do that. So yeah, we just move shade that out. And now if we add a curve, uh, modify it to our stack over there. 
and we're going to want to add a curve here. Now we go back to our object and we select our curve in here. And as you see, we get some weird results we don't really want. Let's you want have some sort of weird um, subtract Christmas tree metal type of thing, then that's brilliant for you. Uh, but that isn't what we are, so, so we're going to select this and we're going to rotate this 90 along the Z. And we're going to scale that up like so. And there, that's pretty cool. Um, and you can do, keep um, doing this and stuff and getting different types of chains out of it. If we um, select our curve, we can actually go in and alter how it kind of interact. You know, so we can just tweak all this stuff if we want it to be a little bit fancier. Or maybe to pull that back. Just careful, like over here, though, it does kind of pinch in certain areas. I guess in it where the curve is too sharp at an angle, like that. But other than that, that that's pretty good. Um, I would show you how to um, texture it, but I tried it to try to do this like three times now, and every time I open up Dedo and create the project, um, Shadow Play keeps crashing on me. So I can't um, take you through that, but the image you will see for the video of the thumbnail should be the end results. Pretty much what you do is we could do oh first thing first is you would have to um apply these modifiers because these modifiers won't go over and all that stuff um but if you apply the bottom one first it will mess it up so make sure you apply the array modifier first and then the curve and then we can literally delete that and this is this one object now um so yeah pretty much if you wanted to take this over to ddo um, we could just save this out as is and um, just literally open the object up in um, Dedo and um, just slap a metal um, texture on there and like I said you, you, you would able to see the end result so I hope this um, video was useful um, thank you for watching uh, please comment um, subscribe and if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. So, yeah, until next time, catch you later.